right, YouTube. I'm going hunting. Got some, uh, got a doe tag, an antlerless tag for Manitoulin Island. And I'm hoping to fill it this weekend. Also got some uh, product unboxings to do, uh, product reviews to do. Hopefully get some good hunting footage and some successful uh, hunting footage. Um, if you if you don't know about Manitoulin Island, it is a uh, fantastic spot to go deer hunting. Anyway, I'm also having a little bit of deja vu because this is my second trip to Manitoulin Island this week. It's about a three and a half hour drive for me. Uh, and I've already done it once this week. I'll show you a little bit of footage from that earlier trip. Is it Super Zoom? Yeah. Super Zoom. You guys excited for a little road trip? Yes. Yeah, because we're going to go to Princess Auto, right? Yay! Oh, come on. What is even at Princess Auto, though? Is it just a car place? Uh, so much cool stuff. Is, is that like really where we're going, tired. though? No. Oh, is that where Don't we got the phone charger? Don't say that. Like... <laughs> guys. Is that weird? <laughs> Is that where we got the phone charger? Yeah. <laughs> That's the phone charger that... Oh, you guys are... There I'm was... trying to do a sponsorship placement. <laughs> there was a, there was a two-year guarantee, yeah, so if I so returned it, if cool I had stuff. the receipt and the container, I could get, like, a new one. You guys one. are ruining it for That's me. That's right. What with the giant tractor that? wheels? Yes. That was epic. Yeah. yeah and yeah, they had the livestock section with all the watering bowls and, and water system and fencing. And, yeah. yeah. It was pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the one with but yeah, it the smelled like Canadian. Good fire. save, good save. You can't talk about a different competing place when we're talking about Princess Auto. You guys don't understand how this works. It's not even where we're actually going. I'm just wearing my Princess Auto hoodie. Where are we going? To get a puppy. Oh, a puppy. <laughs> Welcome to the to puppy the picking journey. Puppy picking journey. Yeah. Just a long, boring drive to Manitoulin Island. What is it's that? only boring because you oh, paused the music. Sorry. Nope. Oh, it's not going to Nine puppies. You might want to get that one out underneath the other one. <laughs> oh, never mind, it's okay. This nose? This one's also super cute. Hmm? Thank you. They're cute. Has like a little heart shaped oh. nose. Hey! Oh, don't climb on the other one! Oh, you are wet! Look at those guys just licking each other's food oh, off their faces. <laughs> Hello. It's like a Ruby and Angus. What, what is you chewing on my poo? camera? Are you chewing on my camera? You just stepped on this poop. Gross. How old did Nick say they are? Four and a half weeks? Yep. Oh, they're so cute. So I'm uh, headed to meet up with uh, my buddy Nick and his dad, Keith. This is a yearly tradition that I've had going back to maybe 2001 or 2002. I guess it's been uh, I guess it's been 20 years hunting on the island. Lots of successes and uh, lots of fond memories. So I'll I'll show you what we're all about. Well, I'm gonna start off right here at Nick's farm. Um, always a lot of deer activity up around the back. And uh, there's only a couple couple hours left in the in the day anyway, so tomorrow's the bigger hunting day. Well, it's good to go out and just kind of a little hunting warm up, you know. Get used to playing the wind and listening to the birds and watching where I put my feet. I'm gonna just bring my phone camera with me. This big camera's gotta stay.
Okay, I just took a shot. There were five, five eight or less deer here. And I uh, had a nice broadside at a young doe. I really waited, I was here for minutes watching them. Trying to decide, I've never filled my tag on the first day that I've arrived here. It just seemed a little odd, but uh, I give them a few minutes. We'll go check for blood. rush I forgot my flashlight so I might have to use this phone for my light well I got my uh, got my headlamp ditched my rifle and uh, shooting like just ended like five minutes ago I'm gonna say and it's surprising how fast it can get dark in that half hour past sunset anyway now the uh, the work begins. Let's go find find a blood trail and find that deer. Here I'll show you. Uh, in the recent video, I was talking about a Olight Black Friday sale, and uh, this is my one of my favorite lights. You can see it really throws a lot of light in the bright mode. We're just going to use it in the low light mode to find some blood. I'm working a, working a new uh, microphone here too. The other one was causing me some problems. Hopefully this one's nice and clear. This is only the second video I've shot with it I think. You can uh, let me know if it sounds good. Well, that's kind of tricky, but uh, there's little red raspberry leaves on the ground that look like uh, blood, but obviously aren't. This uh, tall grass lines the whole one side of the field here. And I was really hoping, because I'm not finding blood on the ground yet, I was really hoping that I'd find blood on the tall grass where the deer ran through has to brush up against some of this dry grass and uh, it uh, picks up blood really easily this dry grass I haven't seen anything yet uh, this deer might end up being way more work than I was anticipating All my uh, self doubts are really, really settled in here now. I've been, uh, whew, I've been searching uh, almost a whole hour. Um, and I have not found a single drop of blood 
a single hair. Uh, no evidence that that deer was hit. Except I know that I had a good shot. And um, by all appearances, it was running like a hit deer. Head down, tail down. Um, and limping a bit. Uh, and yet, in a full hour of meticulous searching, I have not turned up any evidence. I've never, I've never worked so hard for a uh, a deer before, and I can only stay out here for so long um, before I have to head back. And I, I know where I'll be tomorrow morning. Hopefully, uh, with the with the sun up. Maybe I'll see something that I'm missing uh, here in the dark. deer I had a dream last night that I found blood <laughs> but I didn't didn't lose any sleep over it um, had a really nice supper Nick's organic pork chops kimchi from his vegetables sauerkraut from his vegetables roasted vegetables from his vegetables pretty good eating exhaust the search of this deer before I think about carrying on with hunting. We do have a couple other tags in our party. So we'll see. I was reading an article in the uh, current edition of Ontario Out of Doors about recovering your shot deer and it had all the clues about the deer behavior when they're hit and mine is uh, sounds exactly like a deer that was hit slightly behind the vitals which is uh, I thought I made a better shot than that but the way that they tuck their head tuck their tail and walk or run away instead of bounding uh, pretty consistent with a gut shot deer so uh, that's what I'm gonna assume happened and they say in that case that you should uh, leave it for eight hours. So maybe it was not wise for me to come out in the dark and do as much looking as I did because I might have pushed that deer further. <coughs> and uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is start to grid search the area and keep my eyes peeled for blood. Um, I could also look for tracks, but there are so many tracks in here that there would be no way for me to know which one is the fresh track. I guess it's probably also relevant to say that uh, the um, temperature dipped just below zero last night and there is a dry wind. Um, so any blood that was here last night should still be here this morning. And, uh, I noticed a lot of the little, there were just like little fist-sized patches of snow here and there. Those are mostly melted today. Um, so we'll let the search begin. Through this, uh, thick cedar bush perfect spot for an injured deer to run. Oh. 
so my strategy is to walk maybe a little bit faster than my hunting pace which is pretty slow and I'm looking for tracks and blood droplets on the ground um, looking ahead to see if I de see a deer lying down anywhere and also scanning above ground level anywhere that a deer might have brushed up against a dry branch or some grass looking for blood smears there and just picking my way around in big loops around where I last saw that deer I've not found anything yet um, the other thing I'm going to do is check along this boundary fence because um, anywhere that an injured deer would cross that fence would not presumably be able to jump it without leaving a big smear of blood um, along the rails. And I'm not really sure about that one. I was under that cedar spot for so long looking for blood. Now I'm out in the full sun and I'm blinded. When I look at the grass I just see like the sun reflecting into my eyeballs but I definitely want to uh, Start at the beginning again. See if we can find some hair or some fat or some blood. And uh, go from there. Let's see what, what time it is here. I've already been at this for almost two hours this morning. Just creeping along, looking for blood, not finding any. So I am uh, three hours in, three hours total, no blood, no hair, no body. So I am, uh, sorry I just keep looking at tracks on the ground here. There's a running track from a deer here. So I'm just about ready to give up and move on, which I hate to do, um, but these things happen, even, uh, even a broadside shot from not too far away at a standing deer can uh, not go the way you want it to, unfortunately. I have officially given up on that deer. I think I, uh, I've done everything I can. So, I'm gonna have some bacon and eggs. And think about the rest of my day and my tomorrow. It's a pretty view, isn't it? Sometimes from up here, Actually, even from down at the house, you can see deer in that back, back, back field, which is pretty far away. All right, um, afternoon hunt. So I'm trying a whole new, 
whole new tact here. Um, also, the temperature rose to somewhere between 10 and 12 degrees Celsius. So I've stripped down to some smaller layers. Uh, I have two game cameras in my backpack. And uh, one thing that I would like to do is to hunt. There's a 200 acre property here. Uh, it goes all the way up the hill past that wind turbine. Um, and there are some very good deer crossings. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna set these two cameras up. Actually, I think I might see a deer. I don't know if I can zoom to that. Let me, uh, oh yeah, for sure that's a deer. Where are we? So, going up to the back. And there's that birch tree kind of centered in the camera. I think there's a deer just to the right of it on the edge of the hill there. Anyway, uh, this big camera is going to stay. I'm just going to bring my phone again and try and cover some ground and see what I can see. Uh, there was a huge deer here. Was it last year or the year before um, that I could not shoot out a big? 10 or a 12 pointer. Anyway, he'd be even bigger this year, so fingers crossed. I could see uh, with my binoculars that there was clearly a deer at the top end of that gravel pit. <clears throat> I tested the wind with some grass seed and uh, I gotta come up on the east side of the property because the wind is blowing a little crossways. Um, it's very rolling here. So, if I do this right, I'll just peek up over a hill and that deer should be right there. Couldn't really tell what it was from back at the barn, but I'll get a closer look when I get closer. There it is, skylined. Just a little fawn though, I think I'm going to try and get out in front of it where it won't wind me and uh, have a little look around and see if there are other deer. And I'm going to head up onto that escarpment and set another trail camera. I just, uh, I bumped two. I think they're still running. They must have spotted me because the wind is in my favor, but I did not see them until they flagged. It's a pretty, uh, pretty little oak savanna up here has deer. So there was a doe over there and then it was pretty far away and then two of them just ran right over to this spot here. And then they turned around and then they ran back again. I didn't get a good look at the second deer but I think it might have been a buck chasing a doe. I'm gonna just keep keep still Does it ever look dark on my camera? Anyway, it's the last two minutes of light and uh, basically back where I started where I saw that fawn in the gravel pit and I don't know if that was the same one but one just boogied across here real fast and went sailing over the lip there so um, I guess I, that's the end of day two. Pretty exciting though I kept bumping those deer up at the top. Maybe they'll be there tomorrow. Maybe I'll hunt a different property. We'll see what the new day brings. I'll show you the uh, blanket that I've added to my um, sleep system, which is a wool blanket that I got from Princess Auto. And I think this might be the cheapest wool blanket uh, that you can buy. So, you know, it's clearly like a repurposed wool. And it does not have a itchy feeling to me. It actually feels a little bit, a little bit greasy, which maybe means it has lots of good oils in it. I don't know. Um, and it is a full-sized four-pound wool blanket. Uh, it folds up relatively small, so I was pretty happy to add this as an over blanket with my sleeping bag. And I thought that you guys might be interested. If you're looking for 
a bushcraft blanket, a camp blanket, a, uh, or just like a, a really inexpensive wool blanket. Um, Princess Auto has these for like 30 bucks. Maybe I got it on sale for 20 bucks. I couldn't resist. Um, and they also have a green one. I think the green one has, I think it says USA on it or, or it has a, some kind of an American logo. Um, this one has a Canadian flag on it somewhere. If I open it up enough, there's a Canadian flag in here somewhere. This is a full, full size um, wool blanket. I forget the dimensions, but I could, I'll, I'll edit them in after. There's your little Canadian flag symbol, but um, very happy with this wool blanket. Well, the bad news is that um, I have to head home because of a little family emergency. I came by to uh, let Keith and Nick know that I was going to hit the road. And on this farm property, there's a large fawn or a small doe. Nice little broadside one. So hopefully, uh, hopefully those guys have some good luck hunting today. But unfortunately, I have to stop unless I come back for the black powder hunt in two weekends. But um, I'm, uh, I'm at, at the end of this weekend. <laughs>